I'm going to clear up some of the confusion on what makes a good webcam for a Mac. I went down to my local Target and bought every webcam off their shelf. The prices ranged from around $20 to $50. Every single one advertised exactly the same specifications, including bogus claims of resolution. For example, anytime you see the words interpolated or software enhanced, that is basically just a fancy marketing term that means fake. It's sort of like going into a paint program and blowing your image up to twice the resolution. Sure, now the image has more pixels, but it will have no more detail than it did before. It's also worth mentioning that none of these cameras say anywhere that they are compatible with the Macintosh. Keep in mind that when using one of these with a Mac, you might as well chuck the software CD in the trash, because the only thing that's going to be on there is for Windows machines. With the Mac, it's either going to work when you plug it in, or not work. End of story. I tested each camera under three different lighting scenarios, and also threw in two Apple EyeSight cameras for comparison. I also tested each camera on a G3 iBook running Tiger, a G4 iBook running Tiger, a G4 iBook running Leopard, and an Intel iMac running Snow Leopard. It's worth pointing out that none of the models I bought worked perfectly on the G3, probably because of the older style USB ports. Some of the Logitech models worked, but only gave a small picture with a black border around. The only good webcam for a G3 would be Apple's own Firewire EyeSight camera. Okay, so let's see some results. For comparison, let's start with the built-in camera on an aluminum iMac to see what we're up against. This is a test of the built-in EyeSight camera in my aluminum iMac uh, Intel Core 2 Duo and it's also using the built-in microphone. We're also under excellent lighting conditions right now and as you'll see the picture quality is fantastic. Uh, this camera also records in a true 1.3 megapixel which is basically like HD except that it's not widescreen. Um, it also has very good focus range. I can stick my face right up in the camera and it remains in focus unlike a lot of them. And this is a test of the internal eyesight camera under normal office lighting conditions, which is not too bad. This is another test of the built-in eyesight. Now this is more typical of uh, a person's home where the light is behind their head where it does not belong for using a webcam. And uh, this is what you could expect on the uh, internal eyesight camera. Also, let's look at the external eyesight, which Apple no longer sells, but can be found on eBay for $80 or more. Note that this is the only camera that works properly with older Macs like the G3s. Okay, this is video from an external Firewire EyeSight camera under excellent lighting conditions and using the built-in microphone on the EyeSight camera. Um, I don't have the proper stand for this, so I'm actually holding the camera right now, so it's a little bit shaky. But that actually works out to advantage. I wanted to show you the fact that this has a real CCD, and it's probably the only webcam you can get with a real CCD. And so when you shake the video back and forth, it does not wobble because it has a global shutter. It's probably the only camera that you can use for fast action and uh, actually have uh, the image not, you know, wobbly like you get with um, uh, CMOS imagers. All right, and this is under uh, normal office lighting conditions, which is, uh, it's not too bad. Um, but it's, it's got a little bit of grain in it, which may not even show up by the time this gets to YouTube and Vimeo and whatever. This is under uh, typical residential lighting, i.e. bad lighting, and uh, actually it doesn't do too bad. I think in many ways it does a little better than the built-in eyesight. Let's look at Logitech's Quick Cam for Notebooks. The price was $19.99, and it turns out it does not work at all on any Mac whatsoever. And I had to cut it out of the suicide packaging just to learn that. Next, we'll look at Microsoft's LifeCam VX700. The price was $19.89 and it works on Tiger and Leopard, but it has no microphone. So this camera is good for laptops like the iBook G4 since that laptop has a built-in microphone, but I would not advise using this on a Mac desktop computer. This is the Microsoft LifeCam under excellent lighting conditions and uh, the frame rate's uh, not bad uh, and the picture's uh, not bad, especially considering the price. This is the Microsoft LifeCam VX700 under typical office lighting scenarios. Uh, the contrast is a little poor, but uh, otherwise uh, the picture is not bad and the frame rate is actually uh, pretty good. This is the Microsoft VX700 under poor residential lighting and the frame rate is pretty bad. 
Next, we'll look at the Logitech C120 that I paid $29.99 for. It works on Tiger and Leopard, but also has no microphone, so not a good choice for a desktop computer, but seems to work well for laptops. This is the Logitech C120 under excellent lighting situations, and the frame rate is not bad, and the picture is pretty good. Um, I'll also point out that this camera has no microphone, so I'm using the inbuilt microphone on my Mac, uh, but some Macs don't have microphones, so keep that in mind. This is the Logitech C120 under typical office style lighting, and the frame rate is still pretty bad, but the picture is okay. Well, it's medium. This is the Logitech C120 under typical poor residential lighting, and the frame rate is pretty slow, and the picture is medium. Moving up in price, let's look at the Logitech C200. It also works on Tiger and Leopard, and also has a built-in microphone. This is the Logitech C200 under excellent lighting conditions. We're also using the Logitech's built-in microphone. And uh, what I wanted to show you um, is it's got a pretty good frame rate when you got uh, really good light. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch off this uh, extra light I have up here. And uh, it switches into a, uh, a, a long shutter mode. And this is kind of just the medium regular office light scenario here. And you can see that the uh, frame rate drops significantly. Um, just going to the regular lighting mode. This is the uh, Logitech C200 under normal poor residential lighting and uh, the my face is pretty well lit up but the frame rate of course is it's pretty bad. The next model is the Logitech C250 for which I paid $39.99 and it works on Tiger and Leopard and does have a built-in microphone. All right, this is the uh, Logitech uh, C250. This was the most expensive Logitech they had uh, at the store I went. And um, it actually has a pretty good picture, especially compared to its siblings. And uh, frame rate's not bad. Now this is under excellent lighting conditions. Um, let's go uh, check the other ones. Um, this is under typical office lighting and uh, the picture's still pretty good and the frame rate is still pretty good also. So uh, this turned out to be a pretty good uh, especially since this one does work on the older computers too. And our final test for this camera, this is the C250 under uh, typical poor residential lighting and uh, the picture uh, really isn't bad at all and uh, even the frame rate's uh, still pretty good. So uh, I'm impressed. And the last model is the Microsoft LifeCam VX5000 which only works on Leopard and does not work on Tiger at all. It does have a built-in microphone. This is the Microsoft LifeCam VX5000 under excellent lighting conditions. Uh, this is one of the best pictures I've ever seen on a um, webcam, especially one for $49. Um, the uh, motion is very good, uh, good, pretty good high frame rate on it. The only uh, thing is, of course, it is a CMOS imager, so um, you know if you get a lot of motion, you get uh, you know that typical. CMOS wobble, which, uh, you know, I guess that's the price to pay for a cheap webcam, but uh, other than that, uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty impressive camera and seems to work with everything on the Mac. This is the Microsoft LifeCam VX5000 under normal office lighting. Alright, this is the Microsoft LifeCam VX5000 under poor residential lighting and it actually does amazingly well except that the frame rate slows down really bad uh, so I almost look like a Japanese movie and if I move real fast you'll just see a big blur but otherwise the image quality is amazing considering how poor the light is we are also using the built-in uh, microphone overall I was most impressed with the Microsoft VX5000 but I think the Logitech C250 is a good competitor especially if you're running Tiger if you need a cheap camera for your iBook or PowerBook the Microsoft VX700 would be my choice.